Good morning, Bird Brains. We are back out at Murphy's, and today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of uh, testing and tuning. Let's get into it. So, after the race, I went ahead and replaced the clutch in the dirt bike, replaced it for a recluse. Also, did a little bit of modifications with the handlebars, and uh, yeah, so now we're out here ready to tune and test all that stuff. And also, I think I'm gonna try to dial in the suspension today. We got Hasso in the house. He's never been out here before, but he is the only one that was down to ride today. So it's gonna be me and him, as well as my lovely wife, Mrs. Bird. She uh, wanted to come in and just kind of check out what we do out here when we come out to Murphy's. So she's down for uh, helping us out today. But like I said, uh, not gonna focus on doing like any endurance tests or anything like that. We're pretty much just focused on the setup of the bike today. Also, unfortunately, I did forget my Cardo. I left it on the charger, so I was gonna include the audio of me and Hasso talking and everything like that, but uh, you know, when you wait till the last minute to pack everything up, you forget things, and that's, that's just what I do. So let's go ahead and hop on the bike. All right, guys, so I got the bike warming up now uh, with the recluse clutch you have to adjust what's called the oh god free is it free play gain play something like that basically you got to hold in put a little bit of pressure on the, the clutch wow well that's perfect it's supposed to move about a quarter of an inch on that so we should be good uh, stiffen up the suspension by 50% all around. So we're gonna go do one little warm-up lap, see how that handles, and then come back and make any adjustments that we might need to make. Good? All right. So all we did here was a slow put around lap. Hasso had never been out here before. And the last time I was out here, the trails were actually closed, but I didn't know that. So I was out here anyways, and they were very wet and very muddy. So we were just kind of getting a gauge of how the terrain was and things like that, as well as just getting a feel for the recluse clutch and making sure that it got up to operating temperature and everything was engaging like it was supposed to. Uh, right after this lap, I show you guys kind of how a recluse works in a very, <laughs> very watered down way. But then after that, I gear up for a time lap and I was pretty impressed with the improvements. All right. So in case you guys don't know what a recluse clutch is, I'll show you. So, all right, so as you can see, the bike is in neutral. I'm able to rev it without it going anywhere. But if I pull the clutch in, going to first, if you watch the clutch, I can let it out and it's not going anywhere. But as soon as I start to rev up the RPMs, it catches and you're on your way. Same thing in second. Watch, I'm in second gear now. And I can come into a complete stop and the bike's not gonna stall. There you go. So you always have power at your disposal, but uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to and tuning. It's like right now it's not catching right. So part of the test and tune is to get this clutch dialed in. So there's neutral. First. Good. You feel old yet? Huh? You feel old yet? I'm this close, man. This thing, I don't know. <laughs> the one thing that bothered me really was the wet spots. I slipped twice because of that. Yeah. But I don't know if that is for me, but you know, I'm more like that right there. <laughs> 
All right, so dialed in the suspension a bit more. Uh, went probably about 20% harder. Uh, house is gonna take a break, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go turn a couple laps, see what my times are, see if we've made any sort of improvements, and then uh, come back and make any necessary adjustments. I feel like I have a puncture in my rear tire. I noticed that last time as well, but I didn't want to use that as an excuse, so I didn't mention it in the race video. But yeah, I'm hoping that, that it holds up at least to let me get back home before I have to do a tube change. I brought the tube with me just in case we had some sort of catastrophic failure, but I'd much rather change that in the garage than out here at trackside. All right, so one downside that I found to this recluse is it's really hard to get the bike into neutral. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here in a second is actually overlay my previous personal best on this track in almost identical riding conditions right next to this current lap that you're about to see. Because seeing results on a timesheet is one thing, but seeing them side by side is another. Unfortunately, I don't know what actually led to all these improvements. Like I said at the end of the race video, I felt myself get so much better, so much faster, so much more comfortable on the bike that I definitely did make some riding improvements. But like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I also added the recluse clutch and I also added about a three quarter inch ride on the handlebars that way I'm not so leaned over when standing up on the bike I didn't want to go too high because that takes away up the front end and yada 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 so I just want a little bit of rise just to keep my weight a little bit more balanced while standing and then of course we also did a bunch of suspension tuning during the day of this filming but anyways I'm gonna let this run for the full lap so you can actually see what type of improvements were made
I wanted to point out one thing real quick. You'll notice on the right hand side of the previous personal best that the footage is going to skip here in a second. There it is. The reason I did that was because I took a section of the trail that day that I was not able to the current lap. Reason being is that it was just too overgrown, way too wet, really rutted out. So I chose not to take that portion of the trail, but kept it out of the video for timing purposes. Seven, seven minutes. All right, so we just took a break here. I went and watched the, the little kids ride around, and 90% of them, which are faster than us. Now I'm gonna go see, I got a seven minute lap on the last time, just under seven minutes, but that's definitely by far my personal best. So I don't know how much of that is due to bike setup or just due to experience. No, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> but the uh, suspension's feeling a lot better. Definitely uh, am able to use it to my advantage more. So I feel myself kind of, you know, preloading and getting it in the right position and everything more. I'll be back. So for the second lap, I pretty much did the exact same thing I did on the first lap, except for this time on the right hand side, you're going to see that lap that was just the new previous best.
89, baby. Woo! Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, 639. Woo! Woo! Man, I'm tired. Even though we only did a, a handful of laps, I set two PRs. I think my personal best before this was like in the low eights, and then I knocked out a seven minute lap, and then a six minute, 40 second lap. So, whether my bike's improving or if I'm improving, I guess the important part is, is that we're improving. Now I've got my lovely wife driving me home, and uh, we're gonna stop and get some food, but that's gonna do it for today's episode. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.